guys, it's Kara, and I'm here to talk to you guys about a hemoglobin A1C test. Now, I'm going to refer to it as an A1C test, but this is a test that affects both type 1 and type 2 diabetics, and even non-diabetics. What an A1C test is, is a blood test. So you will get your blood drawn up to four times a year to test this. And type 1 or type 2, you're going to have to have it done three to four times a year. Uh, it depends on how well controlled you are. Now for type 2 diabetics, it depends on if they take insulin and how in range they are. So if their A1C tests are good, you may not have it as often. For a type 1 diabetic, you're going to definitely have it three to four times a year. So the test will give you an average over a three to four month time frame of what the blood sugars have been. So it gives you like an average of how well controlled your diabetes is and what sugar level that you are on. I have now for type 2 diabetics, they definitely have to get it done twice a year if they do not use insulin. So that means injections. If they're not taking injections, then they get it done twice a year. Now for type 1 diabetics, you have to have it done three to four times a year. Now, if you're a type 2 diabetic and you use insulin to manage your blood sugar and you're having troubles keeping it within range, then you're going to have to have it done at least four times a year. Now, for someone who doesn't have diabetes, a normal A1C can range from a 4.5 to a 6. Now, someone who's had uncontrolled diabetes for like a long time, your A1C would be above 8. Um, when an A1C test is done, it can also help determine if you are a diabetic. If you have a 6.5% or higher in two separate tests, then that means you can have diabetes. If the result is between a 5.7 and a 6.4, then that's considered prediabetes. So if you're getting these tests done and you're within that 5.7 and the 6.4, then you're going to be watched for diabetes because it's showing that your blood sugar is not responding normally and there could be some sort of issue. And it just tells people that you have a higher risk of getting diabetes. Now for most people like me who've been diagnosed with diabetes, your A1C should be a 7% or less. So you want to get your range at least a 7 now, for me, personally, I have never been within normal range. I have always been very brittle, and the more I fluctuate in how high my blood sugar goes, it will reflect in this test if my blood sugar is higher than it should be most of the time. So, um, for instance, it'll be three years this year, but it, so three years ago, my A1C was an 11. Last year, probably around October, it was at a 9. And then this year, as of March, it's at an 8. So that has gone down a lot. So from 11 to a 9 to an 8. I want it to be a 7. <laughs> that is my goal. If I can get below a 7, that would be amazing. But I have my first little steps. Now I have a chart which you probably won't be able to see because it printed out really small but I'll go over this. Um, so there's a chart which converts to blood sugar. So it tells you what an A1C would be and what that converts into your estimated average glucose level. Now for instance when I said my A1C before was an 11 that means my blood sugar was an average around 269. Now when it went down to a 9, that means it was averaging around 215. Now for an 8, it's averaging around 186. So 186 for me is great, but for a 7, what they want you to be is a 154 or lower. So if you really want to have an ideal of a 6, that's 126. So you want your blood sugars to be between like 
154 and 126 to be within a normal range. It's an average, so I don't know if you guys are good with numbers, but you know, you can have some numbers that are off that won't impact the average tremendously. Unless those higher numbers are greater than the lower numbers, then that's when your A1C will get out of range. So A1C test, if you guys hear me talk about it, whether it be in my vlogs or on my Facebook, that is a test that's very important for me to show how well I manage my diabetes. Now, I hope you guys learned something about what an A1C blood test is. Please take a look at all my other diabetic videos that I have out there and subscribe to my channel if you're a diabetic or if you know someone who is a diabetic. Go ahead and hit subscribe. I really like connecting with everybody and just talking to people about the disease that we all have in common. And hopefully if anything at all, you guys have learned something that you did not know about type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes before you watch this video. So I hope you guys have a great day and until next time, take care.